Yo, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are at Warwick Castle for the first time in a few years actually for the Haunted Castle event uh, or should I say Castle After Dark actually which is the more intense version of the Haunted Castle uh, so we've just been given this as we walked in so this tells you basically what's on uh, Mr Ward's got some um, I've got some time some slot time tickets, slot tickets. Is it the fractured. maze? Fractured. Yeah. So that's one of the more intense mazes, Fractured, which you've got to collect a uh, time slot from uh, right at the front as you come in. Our time slot is half nine tonight. Yeah. So it'll be probably the last thing we do to here tonight. And it's probably a good job, actually, because we, uh, well, we got caught in a bit of traffic coming back from Fort Park. So, uh, yeah, we're here a little bit later than expected. But basically, this event just includes um, the scare mazes and then we've got some entertainment going off as well um so we've got two looks like two more intense scare mazes which is the fractured one which we've got the time slot for and the uh pestilence is that how we'd say it that, that's how i'm assuming so. <laughs> uh, they're recommended for 10 plus and then we've got the haunted hollows and the scarecrow stroll which are uh, well the haunted hollows is eight plus and the Scarecrow Stroll is just, um, well, it doesn't actually say an age rating, so I'm guessing that's just for Free for from. everyone. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and then the Dead Centre stage is where all the entertainment and stuff is kicking off. So, yeah, looking forward to getting to Warwick Castle again, and especially checking out Castle After Dark, because obviously for a few years now we've just had the Haunted Castle, which hasn't involved any of the scare mazes, whereas now they've bought the Castle After Dark in, uh, which is new and we see scare mazes return so um, during this event the parks open 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. so you get a good four hours if you're here right at the start we've got a good couple well two and a half anyway probably to go yeah, and check close, everything out but, but I, I think we should do it because it doesn't look like there's well there's too much like I said them two scare mazes that one what's a bit uh, well the other one that's a bit uh, for younger ones, which is the Haunted Hollow, and then we've got the Scarecrow walk through, and then just watching the entertainment. So I think we'll probably go and look at some of the, well, a couple of the decorations here at the front, checking out the castle right there, the, proje the projection right on there, and then uh, we'll go to Haunted Hollows, because that is right next to us here, so we might as well do that uh, while we're passing. So without any further ado, let's go and check Castle After Dark and see if this event is worth visiting for our fifth vlog of the trip. So starting here at the front of the castle, we've got these two chairs slash thrones to sit on. Halloween at the castle. And then you've got the castle after dark right there in the background, which is projected onto Warwick Castle. So yeah, very nice photo opportunity starting off here at the front. Alright then, starting off at the Haunted Hollows. Is that we can film in this one, Mr. Wood? Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, kind of. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. You no. Know, see some theming anyway. As we walk in. It says it does have live actors in here, so. Yeah, we'll see. But it's live. Oh, here's one. Ha! Didn't make us jump, Mr. Wood, eh? No. Thought they were going to. <laughs> yeah. Have the music cranked up low around here. Add to the atmosphere. Here we go, we've got the mirrors. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah! I think they were gonna let us pass then. No. <laughs> see if we can see anybody else. We're in the circus. Calling us Mr. Wood. Oh. 
was being followed. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, we've got a nice pumpkin patch around here. Pumpkins. Some more music to add to it. Oh, look at that up there. Looks like burial grounds with that, with that like ram mask. Up there. Right through the greenhouse. Oh, we got someone here. Here we go. Let's go through here. <laughs> I got me a little bit that did. I did try to pre-warn you. Looks <laughs> like this is the house. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, look at you, you look like you're only a minute by one of these. Ah, look at you. <laughs> That's nice. I didn't know. Sound like it was something from Stitches. Yes, Oh, here we go. Mm. <laughs> 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 well, there we go. <laughs> just to uh, us randomly. As, as I was just, saying. Just ran <laughs> yeah, just casually talking. Back, back to what I was my point before. That greenhouse it sounds something like it was from Stitches to sounds. Yeah. Yeah, it a bit. Here we go. Through here then. What's in here? Oh, we've got a big spider here. Definitely expecting someone to be hiding around here. Huge spider. We got some more. Don't turn around, it's going to get you. It's not safe here. thought it was over then, but I think we're still uh, going, aren't we? Yes, I thought it was over too. <laughs> Looks like we're still going. We get to that main pathway that we saw before we came in. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, mean, that, that, I think that'll be it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I don't know where we are at the moment, actually. <laughs> Just keep walking down. There's a bench for us. I feel like we're in a hedge maze, yeah, but was we meant to come this way? No, no. I have no idea. Literally, me and Mr. Wood are really lost. We've just gone through a hedge maze, and I don't know if that was even a part of it, to be honest, Mr. Wood, but... Uh, I'm, I'm confused. It's not really that clear, is it? No. We've just come out of the Haunted Hollows right there behind us, so that was a, well, it was a nice little walk through. We had a, quite a bit of theming in there, uh, and a few actors. Didn't have that many actors though, did it? I think we saw about three, no, I think three, no, four, was four, it? five, and it's... Oh, right, okay, yeah. And it seemed very empty towards the end. It did seem very empty towards uh, the end. After the last scare, that like, got both of us. <laughs> yeah, so we walked through like the circus bit, and then it was up the stairs, and then after that, we just got really confused to if we was going the right way or not. Um, and then somebody had opened a fire, like a fire escape, hadn't they, into like this hedge maze. The horrible history's maze. Yeah, that, that was it, yeah. So we thought that was a part of it. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we fa finally found the exit. They gave us our photos to look at, which is what they took before we went in. And like, I was asking the, <laughs> the guy who were getting our photos, I was like, um, I, I said, is that hedge maze a part of it? And he was looking at me like I was, like going mad or something. <laughs> so I was like, right, well, definitely that wasn't meant to be open then. Yeah. Before we went in, we got told hopefully we'd come out alive. We ended up coming out confused because of the ending with the hedge maze with the fire yeah. door open. Yeah, it wasn't like exactly clear if that was the ex, like if, if that was the end of it or not. 
Uh, we just it, continued it was a walking. Very long exit. It was a very long exit. Yeah. Um, Not including the part where we ended up in the maze. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, so anyway, that was the least intense out of them all. Um, so yeah. I won't really say that was very intense at all, but no. then again, it is the least intense one, so I'm hoping these next uh, two big mazes are going to be a uh, sort of standout. Uh, but yeah, I definitely could have done a few more actors in there, but I did. I do sort of like how they've done it as well uh, through like sort of the, like the wood, uh, calling it the haunted hollow. So I did, I did also notice halfway through. I think I did try and attempt to say it in the video before being scared. Uh, I heard a noise that sounded very familiar from the Stitches queue that we would have heard only the other day when we was at Fort Park. Yeah, uh, and like the Ram sort of schools as well in there was reminding me of uh, burial grounds from Alton Towers. So, Bar yeah. Barring from the other Merlin places. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I think we'll move on now. Um, I think the entertainment's going off in the main castle area, so we're, we'll head up and uh, continue on and, sh and basically show you what we see along the way up into the castle. Another photo opportunity here with a massive cauldron. Just come a bit closer. Yeah. Can't even see the bottom because of all the effects, but yeah. They're, def they're definitely cooking up a potion then, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. You can cook up your potions and cast your spells in here. But yeah, very good photo opportunity this one. Very immersive. This is the Scarecrow Stroll now, so let's go and see what this is about, eh, Mr. Wood? Maybe we'll just see <laughs> loads of these. It's about yeah. Scarecrows. Yeah, loads of Scarecrows. Case cracked. <laughs> let's go and have a look. Got another one here. So yeah, it looks like we're just going to see loads of, loads of these that have been done for the event, eh? Yeah. Not too bad if it's not just like a nice little walkthrough. Yeah. Let's continue on. We'll find a couple more. All dressed up as like knights and Tudors and stuff from their horrible histories. So yeah, it's a nice little, nice little walkway up here. So from the top here, you can see obviously where all the entertainment's going off in the main castle area, and the two mazes are off to the right. It's so one's near the white tent. The pestilence is the one furthest away by the white tent. Yeah. And fractured is the one closest to us with the little queue near the castle. Yeah. So at least that one's a timed, like, well, a time slot. So it, that the one doesn't look as long, whereas the uh, the pestilence had a massive queue. So. But it's got it's gone down quite a bit since we've gone past it now. So it might yeah. be quite a time. Fingers crossed. We'll uh, do everything else first, and then probably do that before we do the uh, time slot one. So we got one here at the top with the uh, with the arrows. Another good one there. Looks like they know how to do archery. Yeah, <laughs> another scarecrow up here with a rope around it. Yeah, they do look pretty scary actually. With uh, they don't have faces or anything; they just have like the bags over the head. Yeah. But it looks like it does continue on for quite a bit. Um, looking at it anyway, the path. So let's continue on. It might go all the way around the castle. This one looks a bit more Halloweeny. It's a a witch. What, what thinks that, Mr. Wood? Uh. Combination of a witch and a scarecrow. It's a witch crow. A witch scary. crow. <laughs> there we go. Quality content right here. The scarecrow stroll then we've just been on. Uh, all around, well, some around the castle there. Um, but yeah, it was quite interesting that. I mean, quality content, should I just say. Just, just going around looking at all the uh, scarecrows there, weren't we? So. Yeah, um, we've got a few people shouting over at us. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, they just had some scarecrows in there all dressed up, some decorated as, like, knights. I then uh, we saw the witch crow there at the end, didn't we? Yeah, we saw the witch crow. The witch crow. <laughs> what can we say about that? I mean, we can't really put live actors in there, can we? No. Uh, it's a bit narrow going round, but... Um, it's, it's not even and that, it's steps. narrow, it's... On the the it's on the side of a hill, you can't really have scare actors. No, well... So if someone gets scared, they'll just probably fall down the hill. That's it. And now we know why it's for all ages, because it's just there's just no, nothing really going off apart from just a few decorated uh, scarecrows there, so... But, but it's, 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 a, it's a nice thing for... It's for a nice it to thing have, to add, though. yeah. It's just like something nice It's something extra, isn't to, it? To pass the time. Yeah, that's like, Especially it. if it's like with us where we've got a half-nine ticket for a... Yeah, uh, time yeah it's definitely something to fill the time with. It fills the time and then we've still got two other things to do. That's it. 
and the more things he had, the better, really. So, uh, yeah, but uh, we've come out sort of the other side of the castle now, and it looks like there's some music on, uh, we've got some stalls, so we'll have a walk around this way and see what else is around here before we go back into the main castle itself and it, watch a bit more entertainment. It does seem like it's just a Spotify playlist, though, no like, live performance yeah, or anything. Yeah, I think it is this side, but I think the main bit's obviously in the main castle uh, area, so... Yeah, we'll have a walk around anyway and see what else there is on this side. Walking down on the other side of the castle, we've got archery here. Looks like it's a bit extra though, seven pound. And it's all set up here with the lights and all the bunting around. So this is another bit of where they have uh, some of the stalls and then they have, uh, well they've got some seating area and then some music playing, but not live music on this side. Uh, they have just like a playlist going off. All right, so we're gonna watch some entertainment now in the main courtyard area. Yeah. Looks like there's a saxophone player on at the moment, so let's give it a watch. found some skeletons dancing um, up in the castle windows. Yeah, up in the windows there. They're all dancing and loads of skeletons, so nice bit of a uh, nice bit of projection up there as well. Cool, weren't it, Mr. Wood with a fire? Can't go wrong with a fire show, though. Yeah, can you? You, you can't. Oh, 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 unless it ends up bad. Yeah, that's it. Um, but now we're going to head in our first maze, which is the pestilence, and it's come down, hasn't it? Really, the queue. Yeah. So uh, we did ask actually, and we can't film inside the mazes, which is unfortunate. So I'm guessing that's the two main ones. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, obviously we'll go in and we'll see what it's like and we'll review it when we come out. We just come out of the pestilence, uh, one of the scare mazes, and to be fair, it's pretty good. I mean, there was a lot of steps in that one. Yeah. Uh, which was a little bit of a hazard, really, when we was all like had our hands on each other's shoulders. Um, but there did seem to be quite a few actors in there, actually. Uh, but I think they were mainly scaring the ones that were scared, like they, they were targeting. They people. were targeting people who were more scared, weren't they? Like yeah. they were targeting these two girls in front of me, and uh, they didn't really come up to me. I don't know if they did to you, Mr. Wood. Uh, they came up to the group behind me because they were scared. Yeah, but not me. So it's a shame because, yeah, they sort of just jumped out at the ones that was uh, scared, but um, the actors were like, they were sort of pretending to be statues a little bit in there. I mean, there was a lot of white sheets right at the start what you was pushing away through and bumping into, and then after that there was sort of a bit of theming, which was good. Um, but yeah, the, uh, there was quite a lot of actors in there, so that's pretty good. And like I said, there were sort of statues and then they'd like come out and come out of here so pretty good um, but we're hoping this fractured is going to be the better one with it being like a well we haven't had a time, time slot one. <laughs> uh, however it, this one actually looks like it's got a lot busier by the, looking at the queue um, so I, I, I don't know how it's possible but it's happened it <laughs> it's <busier>. happened <laughs> so they must have handed out so many time slots for this we must have allocated too many for this time slot. Um, so it's half nine now, so we're going to get into it. And uh, yeah, as always, we'll review it when we come out. And when we did come out of that other maze, actually, I did sit up the front and watch the band that was on when we came out. And I got a couple of clips from there as well. So um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get in. Fractured. 
our final maze of the night and see what this one's like. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit better. I think. Hopefully. 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 just come out of the park because uh, that is the event done with uh, so it's gone quick because obviously we've only had like two and a half hours but um, we finished up in the final maze there for Atrid, which I think was just a little bit better than uh, the other one however um, I still think could have been a bit better what about you Mr Ward? Um, well I'm the opposite I preferred that pestilence however you say oh well, yeah yeah um, you did didn't you Fractured. I, I, I feel like they're okay for families, but there should be a bit more. Yeah. Like, there's in both of them, there's quite a lot of empty space where something could have been there. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, that that last one that we finished up on Fractured, um, it was like, obviously, the, the story behind it was this crime scene and, like, this, basically, this person had, like... Something got the shards glass. of glass in eyes and stuff like that. So we was going in and there was all like these crime scene people like in these white suits saying, oh, close your eyes and all this. Um, in a very bright lit up room. In a if, very if, bright lit up room. So if, if it were like a dark room with no lights, understandable. Or with yeah. like flashing lights. But that was like half of like the maze itself. So there wasn't really anything going off until like halfway through. And then um, well, it reminded me of when they had Doll's House. Uh, there in like back in like 2018 2019 something like that um they used li it was literally exactly the same like sort of thing as that but obviously there just wasn't dolls it was there were these actors with like these bags on the head um, like white hazmat suits yeah well white hazmat suits and then like oh, the, the, mask. the, the masks the, the masks that they had in the other bit and then it looked were just like, like these like um like these bags basically that had like their eyes and like stuff and that had been caught like but those plastic knife sort of things but just painted to look like a glass yard yeah um so there was a couple of scenes actually in there so when well there was a scene where you actually stopped in one room and um like the lights were flashing on and off and which we nearly missed because yeah which we, we nearly missed we were told to move on and then we said that we didn't see it and then they last second pulled us back in so we could actually experience it yeah um so we nearly missed that but we saw it anyway and then uh basically some like music would play and then um the actor would literally well the lights would go out and then the actor would move and the lights would come back on and then at the end it, it was just like strobe lighting so um so yeah there was a couple of bits like that um but yeah i think if you obviously the entertainment you couldn't fault the entertainment whatsoever they had plenty of shows going off all the way from six all the way till ten we, um, we saw parts of a fire show a magic show yeah and then a live band that kept on playing and then there was afterwards. a saxophone as well and the saxophone no, it, it was part of the live band and then yeah it was all like having a break it'd stay on and do like uh, saxophone covers or songs yeah so I mean you can't yeah like I said you can't fault that entertainment it was really good uh, however I think if you're coming for like the scare mazes then definitely probably not coming like don't come to this event the other events are better like Alton Tower Scare Fest and Fort Park Fright Night so the better mazes are more scarier these I feel like there was a bit of uh, quite a lot of miss up like miss opportunity like they could have made them a lot better but yeah they're just they're just nothing really outstanding so i mean i mean if you want something for families it's especially because it's 25 pound as well and we can't yeah. get in with annual passes 
So yeah, it was twenty five pound extra. For, for families, it's a lot better than Legoland, but it's yeah. not under level to Alton Towers or Fort Park. That's it, and it's nice middle. Ground, I, I think you could just come and watch entertainment. To be fair, yeah. Um, but yeah, the the mazes aren't that great. So if kind, you're wanting, kind of disappointed us, especially after it seems a tiny bit hyped up. Where they're like, oh, you need a time. Yeah, time so you could only go through once, go couldn't you? And you can only do it one time. Whereas the other one that we did first, we, you could go through it multiple, but obviously you'd have to keep all, all night. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely probably won't be coming back to this event next year uh, well, unless they really step it up. Yeah, unless something dras drastic happens. But uh, I'd yeah. rather keep that twenty-five pounds to spend. Oh, no, and go in the other mazes <laughs> again, probably yeah. like what we've done it for. Could, could go to Fort Park mazes or even Alton Towers. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but Pay for half my ticket for Bolton's next time. Well, the first walkthrough actually was that wasn't too bad. I mean, you could go through that like as many times as you I wanted like, to, like and you didn't have one, to queue to go in that. The first one on the Scarecrow Stroll were quite nice. Yeah. Well, obviously, the Scarecrow Stroll, you're, you're just expecting it to be actual scarecrows you'd see in the farmer's field. Yeah. Which it don't blow you away, but it's nice that it has theme in, especially to horrible histories. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, but anyway, that is the whole event. Um, and we didn't really need actually much more time. We did it all in two and a half hours. We could probably um, do it in two hours. You could, we could have probably done it in two hours because it was only like the last bit where it actually took a load of time because of the queue for that last maze. But then that took when, half when, an hour. When it was like very backed up outside, yeah. and then it just started raining, they just shoved everyone inside. Well, yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, w w what's going off here? Like, I thought they were just going to send everyone in and, like, there'd be, like, loads and loads of people walking through. But, yeah, I did it split us up a little bit, even though the group did catch us up behind, actually, in that last one. Uh, I think they sent ten too many through because we was basically part of They were just group. wanting to get everyone out by, because we, we were, it, it were closing the last time. Group, so they just basically put both lines together and told us to walk next to each other. Yeah, they just wanted us out, didn't they, really? Yeah. <laughs> Which is a shame, but... But yeah, that is the event. Uh, hope you did enjoy this video. And oh, if you it's did, again. yeah, it's just raining now. But if you did, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna head back to the car now, and that is the full trip over. It's raining, so I we've got a bit go of a back drive. To my comfy bed. Yeah, we've got a bit of a drive as well. So uh, yeah, um, but yeah, like I said, hope you all did enjoy, and we will see you all in the next one.